my channel. If you're new here, my name is Audrey, and if you feel like you vibe well with my personality, I don't know, and you like watching my videos, then don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button somewhere. Today, I'm going to be unboxing my new Canon G7X Mark II. And if you're wondering, yes, um, my title was clickbait because... It's because this box is really bent up. It was the last um, box of this camera they had at Best Buy. So I just took it because like the camera is fine, but it looks like it was in a dumpster, like does it not? I definitely bought this camera. It was definitely a lot of money, but I will go over that uh, throughout the video as I show you everything. But let's get started. I know you guys wanna see this as much as I do. I haven't opened it up because I just want to wait for you guys. So this is what the box looks like. It's not usually beat up like mine, but you know, that's not really the exciting part. Let's open this bad boy up. So when you open up the box, voila, oh, voila. You open it up to papers that we really don't care about. Oh yeah, we do because this is the warranty, ha ha ha. Jokes on you. For this camera it comes with one year warranty and it's not like accidental warranty. So like if I dropped it and it cracked, they wouldn't pay for it. I think it's just for like maintenance issues inside. So your box is going to come with um, a battery. Amazing, we're off to a fantastic start. Next up is a camera strap. Asthma? I know it's not called asthma, it's called ASMR, but for some reason, I like to call it asthma. This is just the battery charger. And now for the bad boy. I had only looked up this camera online, so when I first saw it in stores, it's a lot bulkier than I thought. Not that it's bulky at all. It's more like it's a lot chunkier. I just thought it'd be like slimmer. So first, let's just go over all these specs of this camera. Let's see, first we have this um, amazing non-interchangeable lens. You have this handy grip in the front and in the back so you can hold it with one hand. Another handy thing is that the screen flips up which is perfect for vlogging. Also it bends out like this at a 45 degree angle that helps you take different shots if you're recording or if you're taking pictures so I just think that's handy to have. I'm pretty sure the Mark 1 doesn't have that. The Mark 1 doesn't have this padded version right here. This also is different from the Mark 1 as that it has touch autofocus. You can autofocus when you're recording or taking pictures just by touching an object and I'll focus on that. Personally for me, the reason I want this camera is because I love vlogging. That's one of my favorite things to do. This is really handy because it's super small. I could keep it in a small purse. Also, what I really love about this is that it autofocuses without making sound when recording. If you see my videos, I always have to manually focus. In one video, I tried putting it on autofocus. It's actually my first video with Kiana and it made sounds throughout the entire video and those sounds came from the lenses like moving to autofocus. But this one is completely silent while recording, which I'm so excited for. So now I can autofocus and move around and do whatever. So the top I have different settings like auto setting, scenery, there's also like manual. And there's these numbers, don't really know how to use those, so. <laughs> There's this button to press when I want to take pictures or record, and there's the on and off button. You also have the microphone up here. There's also a Wi-Fi button on the side of the camera right here. This is where you can attach different cords, so then you can hook it up to your laptop or whatever. Um, okay, I just found the flash button. It's on the other side of the camera right here, and boom, if you want to use flash. I typically don't like flash. I think it looks unnatural. So I probably won't use that much. So I did a lot of research before buying this camera just because it's not the most expensive camera on the market, but it still is expensive, say the least. It's at least like $600. I wanted extra amenities, so I knew I wanted to bring the price down because with the extra amenities, it probably hit close to $1,000. I was researching a lot through like Walmart. It had bundled kits and Amazon. When I went to Best Buy to ask them about the product more to get more information about it, they were telling me that like Walmart and Amazon may like have these amazing deals, but they're third quality. You also have to watch out that this camera can also be sold internationally and when it's sold internationally you're not getting the Canon warranty and that's not a big deal if you don't care about the warranty you can get it cheaper because it's the exact same camera just overseas but if you do want the warranty I got the warranty make sure you buy it here in America so don't buy the Canon international camera also make sure that if you are buying warranty and it's from like another company that's not a big name brand 
that you look through the reviews to make sure that they are a good company and not going to scam you. So I'm going to go over the price and also the price of my extra amenities and show you guys what they are. The price that I got is lower than what people usually get just because I looked up the camera on Amazon and I got a deal because Best Buy price matches. For the items I bought, I'm going to put the link down below just so if you want to buy it at a lower cost you can and you can just negotiate with Best Buy. For this camera it's usually I think $6.50 and I got it for $6.30. Not that big of a difference but I saved $20 so like. I also got this 64 gigabytes SD card and it's Ultra Plus. I paid $20 for this. Next thing I got is another Canon battery. It's not the Canon brand because they didn't have that in stock at the time. If it works in your camera, it works. Anyways, I got that for $24. Last thing I got that I'm super excited about is this Joby Gorilla Pod. I think these are super handy. I've been wanting one for a while. I got the 1K kit. It's about like 10 inches, I would say. This one was $32. I'm using this a vlog, so I'll have a steady can like I'll have a steady hand. Also, like I guess longer distance. I don't know. Also, if I need a tripod. I got one and also this bent so I can put it on uneven surfaces. This is probably the, the heaviest thing that this tripod can hold. There's a bigger one that costs like $80. It's called the 3K kit. It can hold up to a DSLR, but I really didn't want one that big. So overall, I spent $920 for everything I wanted. Like I said, the camera was $630. My SD card was $18. The extra battery was $24. The three-year warranty, and that covers accidental drops and stuff, like if I spill water on it, that was $150, and then this bad boy was $33. That's it. I used up all my birthday money on it. No regrets, to be honest. I'm so excited to have this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful to you if you're looking to buy the same camera yourself. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you're having a fantastic day, whether that's morning, afternoon, or night. Bye! Everybody get your and roll on I know shorty and she doesn't want no slow song Had a man last year, life goes on Haven't let the thing lose, girl, it's so long